story time brought to you by the one and only Lincoln Three Dot. And the crowd goes wild. Damn. It was Brooklyn. I was known as Steve. Used to hang out with a guy by the name of Road Dog. And God know told me it broke, all my phone did cut off. Me have to use Road Dog phone. So I beg him a call. When I look the phone start ring. When I look on the screen, my seat say Big Body. Now this is the name of the person we are called. Big Body. Ah, everybody knows say I love the girl them with the big engine. So I say, Road Dog, who this? Him say I want girl to live on the road. I say, I hear a girl, him say no, him they try a fight, but it now work out. So me answer the call. Shit. Me start to talk to her. At first she think it was Road Dog. I say, no, this is Road Dog friend, Steve. She said, okay, hi Steve. So me and her talk. Them time they made it sharper than now. You see two girl look me now, I mean I have to look no girl, I'm not so sharp again. Me I give her some chat and she like the chat them, you see me? So till me I said to her, I say, yo, man, come on here, come fuck you right now. The girl tell me, say, her pussy wet and she really want to fuck me too. All right, let's go. So she said, her mother did it, but her mother did in her room. And her little sister did in the living room. I watch TV, but me still can't come. She said, yo, you sure? She said, yes, she sure. I said, so your little sister now go see me. She said, relax, just come. Yo, me used to take some ass wrist for pussy. Never again. I turned to Road Dog and my friend JFM and Bossy and said, Dog, the girl said to come over there right now. If I fuck it, Road Dog lame. As he might try to fuck it how long. And me just start talk to her tonight and she had him to come over her house. Yo, you know how to style. Anyway, I go over there and she take time and open the door. When I step in, I see the little girl in the living room. Now from the front door, I can walk go straight over into the girl room. But I pass the living room, the little girl there over there, so I watch the TV. And pass the little girl I over that side of the mother room there. So I tiptoe go into the room. I saw the little girl just sit down and I watch the TV. Way before the mannequin challenge. I walk right past her and she not see me in her peripheral vision. If I say you pronounce it, sitting like a so. We take time going out of the room and she push up the door. Now there was a bunk bed in the room. She said the bottom bunk was hers. She have a whole heap of teddy bear in the corner. Cute. And let me tell you something. The girl body did big for real. She have the real big engine and it's soft. I love it. Firm is nice. I like when I ask firm sometimes. But I prefer it when it's soft. Make it soft. Even if it have like a cellulite, nothing wrong. So me you now move some of the teddy bear them and I lay down at the corner. And she lay down in front of me upon her side. You know, the side with teeth of fuck style. And the girl pussy did wet and had a slippery wet. Silky, slippery, flick, flick. I love it. When I roll on the condom, I'm a slide it inside with a mud thing. I stroke it from the side. She a breathe heavy, me a breathe heavy. But we can't make too much noise. Remember, her mother did it. And the sister. And me a stroke it. The bed I move like it won't make more noise than we do. The bed I squeak. I can't get for flex on the pussy or more flex on it. You know them, Zale? Anyway, me a stroke it said way. Same time here, the mother door open. Me blood clot. Grab the sheet. Grab the teddy. There under the sheet. I put the teddy in front of me. And she put some teddy side of me like. And me under the teddy them. I'm big teddy bear did there. I swear. That teddy is a lifesaver. I was saved by the teddy. I hit me the behind her so. Mother come at the door and push the door open a little. And I talk to her daughter in a, in a Creole, Asian sitting. Them time that the girl lay down on the bed in front of me, you know, me the behind of the teddy, them, you know. And she talked to her mother and her mother answer back. Her mother did about to go to bed. The mother did in her little towel. Mother body big and fat to me. I said, you know, I'm in a wrong room. 
Them time them they back a teddy a peep out so I look upon the mother God know mood all start rise off of her mother I swear And the mother got bed And when the mother done bed the mother come back at the room door right at the door and then they a chat again And them a talking a creole and it make me extra afraid for two reasons One me no know them a blood clot say me no like that Then a the next thing I don't want this woman for voodoo me me afraid of that. You see, I'm enough and eggs up. I should have never the right here, so. Because me enough squishy going to Asian people's house. And something good. Then we lick your chip. Remember that. So me, they behind Teddy and me, I'm afraid of fuck. And the woman don't talk to her daughter and go around her room. Me, I pray to myself, say, I just done fuck now and just go about my business. Because I'm afraid and her mother wake up and all these things. But the girl just start push it back upon me. Oh shit. Why, why, oh, why you gotta act like that? Why you gonna push that thing on me? Girl, don't do it like that. I start stroke her. I stroke her. I don't give a fuck again. The fear gone. The pussy feel good. Bed I go on like it won't make too much noise. Me just make sure come off of the bed and bend over and hold on on the bed. And me give her a back as. Like. The first stroke in the back as me like for just push it in and keep it right there so. And she make a sound. And then me just pull it back all the way. And then me push it again. Long steady strokes. Until I start pick up the pace. Me have to be heavy. I can't get to say the things that I want to say. Because when I fuck, I like to talk some things. I like to say, bitch, you love this dick? Come suck this. Yeah, that's what I talk. My, my, my dirty. Just a little side note. I wear all a stroke the pussy and I just pull out the dick and say, bitch, come here and make me fuck your face. My dirty. Anyway, back to the story. Me a stroke her. Pussy feel good. Me in a condom and it feel like a raw. That a when you know one girl pussy real, real good. When you fuck it in a condom and it feel like a raw. You have to go check the condom. You have to let the condom bust. I mean, enjoy that girl pussy. Me stroke and stroke until me just bust off. Me need them buckle. When me done, me take off the condom tight and put it in my pocket. You know, see me not left my picnic in my road. And then me and her tiptoe out of the room and pass the sister again. The little picnic still I watch the TV, so. Take time to slide through the front door. And as soon as I reach in the hallway of our building, I start to run. When I reach back over the road and I tell him to tell him I fuck the girl. The whole away they start laughing off him. JF and Bossy, the whole away I laugh off him. Would be the moral of this story. Girls, it's good if you have teddy bear on a bed. <laughs> Fuck her moral. <laughs>